In this video, we will look at the content reveal container element from Elements Hive. It's a very versatile container element that allows you to create different kinds of UI patterns for interactively revealing content like flip cards, clip path based comparison effects, revealing hidden elements on the page, and more. Here we have an empty section. First, I will add the content reveal container via the add panel. Looking at the structure panel, we can see that the element comes pre-filled with two content reveal panel elements and a heading under each panel. The panel elements are the div containers where we can add our actual chosen content. I will start by creating a basic card before we look at the different settings available. The panel elements are essentially div elements, so you do not have any restrictions or requirements in terms of what kind of designs you can create and the elements that can be used. The first setting we have is called Trigger. We can choose between Hover and Click options. With the Hover option, the hidden panel is revealed when we hover, or touch when on a touch device, the element. With the Click option, under the Click Trigger setting, we can choose the Container option, which is the default. So the Click action is done on the element itself. Using the Selector option, we can use one or more elements as triggers by specifying a CSS selector. Let's add a button element and assign it a CSS class. Now let's add that CSS class to the selector setting. In this way, any element on the page that has the given CSS class can be used to toggle the animation of our element and reveal the hidden panel. Using this method, you can have more than one trigger element. Let's set the trigger back to hover and look at the rest of the available settings. Under the animation setting, we have six different types of animations to choose from, and each animation supports four different directions. The first animation type is flip animation. With this animation type, you can create custom flip card elements, for example. Let's change the duration to make it easier to see the animation in the video. We can change the direction of the animation using the direction setting. When using flip animation, you can optionally enable 3D perspective on the elements inside the panels using the Enable 3D Perspective setting. Let's change the text color to make the effect a bit easier to see in the video. The depth setting controls by how much the elements are translated on the Z-axis. As you can see, the elements of the hidden panel look like they are floating above the panel container. This in turn creates a 3D effect when in motion. The next animation type is slide animation. As the name suggests, the hidden panel will slide in the chosen direction when it's revealed. Next is the push animation, where the hidden panel pushes away the visible panel. In the swap animation, both panels move in opposite directions during the animation. The square wipe animation uses the clip paths to reveal the hidden panel smoothly without any transforms. The last animation type is the circle wipe animation, which reveals the hidden panel using a circular shape. Under the container category, you can optionally define the width, the minimum height, and customize the border and box shadow styles. 
You can also choose to have the container size be dictated by the elements in the panels instead. If we delete the values in the width and minimum height settings, replace the background image on the visible panel with an image element. Define the width of the image. and get rid of the padding on the panel. We get a similar card as before. Lastly, we can also style the borders and apply box shadows via the container category. The spacing setting is your usual margin top and bottom. Lastly, we have a builder mode helper option. When enabled, the hidden panel is always revealed so that you can see your changes live. The content reveal panels have basic layout and styling options similar to the default div element. Note that the typography setting is deprecated and should not be used. It should be obvious by now, but usage of the visible panel is optional. If we delete the image that we have and the styling on the panel, Apply some padding to the hidden panel instead. Then change the trigger to click mode. And the animation to square wipe. We can reveal the hidden panel out of nowhere using the trigger. We can take the element out of the document flow so that it doesn't take up any space in the document layout by applying a position absolute. As mentioned before, there are several types of interactive UI patterns you can create with the content reveal container. When you have Elements Hive installed, you have access to the demo sections via the Breakdance Design Library where you can find a few examples. Here is an example where we have the same content on both panels and we use the element to create a trendy hover effect instead of revealing hidden content. There are also some flip card examples for both types of trigger modes. Another example shows you how you could make the element's functionality an integral part of the design of a section. Here we have a service section for an app development agency, and we use the content reveal container to showcase a mock-up with both light and dark mode screens of a sample app. The demo sections are another educational resource from Elements Hive. You can download and look at the setup to learn how a section is made, or customize it and make your own variations. We have covered all the basics for the content reveal container to get you started, and you should now have enough knowledge to create some pretty unique UI patterns. When you're ready, share your creations with the rest of the community on our Facebook group. And if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to press that like button, share the video with others who may benefit from it, and subscribe to be notified of future videos.